<clears throat> well, we've done it, people. No straw hats for uh, horses, but XDC took up the challenge, and we have the uh, glorious Ferrari 330p4, which is out now. Link in the description below. Now, like the Lotus, this thing requires. 100% of your concentration or it will bite you and seriously bite you car feels more weighted on the front end but with that comes the caveat that the back end of liftoff is something that needs to be respected On power, however, bags of grip. We're running these at 110 AI, and uh, as you can see, the cars are balanced perfectly performance wise. So we've got Ferraris and Lotuses running throughout the field. Door mirror to door mirror. Why did I put this on live weather so I've got damp bits of track in these cars? That was a bad decision, Owen. Slowly taking advantage of the first lap shakedown. Bit damp coming down that hill. Run a bit wide on the brakes. Oof. So everything's coming through this wheel. With that front end that's nicely weighted and really sharp. I'm picking up every single bump around here. Fifth, oh, a little lock up at the end, down to second. We've got up here the front set, the front guys are making a break for us, so I'm gonna try and keep with them. Uh, yeah, you can see the spray being kicked up. I wasn't lying about the track being damp, people. <laughs> there are puddles around, and I am running softs. And the last time I was racing on here was in the Escorts. These things are lighter, with three times as much brake horsepower. Whoa! But they are of a similar vintage. Only it's not a family saloon car, it's a track munching prototype full on race car. And I am not a race driver, so this is taking all my brain cells to talk and drive this thing. Let's get up on that front pile if I can. I've got a little bit more longer legs at the top end. So we get fifth as you can see. Oh just getting a little bit on the edge the car. You can feel the chassis twisting. Just protesting. Whoop bit about shape on the brakes there. Blipping down to second. Can we get up past our fellow Ferrari up to third, short shift it. Yes, we can. And onto the two Lotuses in first and second. Leave it in fourth. Off. Water on the inside, going to the outside. Ah, uh, that was, that was, ah, uh, gosh. Water spray coming back across the car. As soon as you get offline, 
you're getting into the damn bits. Biggest thing is watching that back end, especially on the uh, lift off going into the bends. Slip angle is minute in these things, and you go past it, you really are in trouble. take it easy down here as the corner drops away down the hill forgot left this is lap four of five two laps to get around these guys I'll keep with the Ferrari start to give me a bit of a hound hounding from the back So those two battling, he's slowing them up. Oh, I'm completely offline. Slight lift at the end there, I was just running a bit wide out of that bend. Okay, the yeah, leader's pulling away from this guy. Again, back end, stepping out, got to catch it quick. Bags a grip on the acceleration though. Car does dance around a bit. I've mucked that up, I've mucked that up. Oh, caught it. Well, that's how you can get into trouble that quick. If he hadn't caught that, or if it had gripped up before I caught it, he would have been off. Get a nice run through here. So yeah, originally this um, this one was a little harder to uh, for XTC to get nailed over the Lotus. Um, the front was a little bit skippy, a little bit Group Five on the power over the bumps lifting on the bigger bumps and um, but he's uh, shifted the weight balance around and it's absolutely beautiful just feels really 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 well balanced on the wheel ah Get off the line, Owen. It's lap five. It had to happen. Oh, and my tyres are covered in mud. What are my tyres like? Good, nice. A bit of even wear on the front there. Uh, just, 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 just. Really. Really, the tyres have taking a beating I think I've got flat spots all over them they're like 50 pence pieces as you could tell from the uh, chirping as I was braking there but we're not into making a million videos to get the perfect lap so this is what you've got it's usually the Last corner shenanigans. I got some damage. Uh, no, we're all right. Uh, just those tyres seem to be uh, a little bit flat spotted from my pirouetting. Top of the hill. Well, thanks for watching. Link in the description below. Go get it. Big shout out to XTC. This is a one of those chef's kiss mods it is beautiful right adios